small introduction into the once you got the five, put it on your head, what do you see? Well, the standard view is this. You're standing and watching absolutely nothing. It's empty space. But once yeah, you see controllers, that's what you see over here. There we go. You can take a good look at them, turn them around. Pretty nicely made. You can even see the lights on your controller and the battery time is underneath. You got four lights. Now I'm halfway battery time. Pretty neat. But you can change all that. You can customize your Vive environment. And we'll show you how to do that now. And you can do just about anything really. So we'll show that to you now. We will start up the Vive menu. Okay, here we go. So over there you see one controller I have, which is, they call it the lighthouse, which is over here. And on the other side, I have another one over there. Uh, in between, there's nothing. Uh, when I walk up to the wall, you will see a grid coming in front of me. There we go. It's got a weird shape, my grid. So I don't bump into to anything that's in the room. So we'll start the Vive menu now, the Steam menu, pardon me. This is a standard Steam menu. My name, Ebola Virus, gaming name. So how do you change the looks of your controllers, your lighthouses and the environment? Well, fairly easily, you go to down there to settings. You press the button and you come into the settings menu and then you do customize. And here you got the background, play area, environment, base station, and controller. And on the other side, you have, well, normally nothing, but I went to the browser and downloaded a few stuff that we can obviously use to demonstrate. And how do you do that? You go to Browse Workshop. It's loading right now. And here we are. And if you do filter content, you go to like, I want to have a look at the background, environment, controller, camera, base station, camera and bases. So if you want to look for different controller types, you press controller. And then you see this in front of you. You can have a Star Wars Millennium Falcon file controller. Let's press that one. Turn it back a bit. There we go. And it should look like, well, there's no picture here, but it should look like that over there. And how do you get it on your PC? You just subscribe, press the button, and it should be ready to launch. And we'll go all the way back now. Settings, by the way, back, back too far there. And uh, let's change our background. So we've got background there. And we'll have a look. Let's make it into a chess board. And hey presto, as quick as the press of a button, I'm in the, standing in the middle of a giant chess board. As you can see, menu is still hanging here and you can change it in a fraction of a second. This is the five intro screen. Big planet hanging there, Earth and the Moon, and on the other side, this is real. Nope, it's VR. But it looks real. Uh, let's do another one. This is a space station. Woo! Have a look at this. And it's huge because I'm probably a tiny little man now. If you look at the laptops hanging over there, they're big and I'm little. So. There's a guy hanging over there. And we're now in the space station. Let's change that over to black. I like this one because there's nothing there. Then you can also choose the play area. And the play area color, which is the play area, is this the ground which you are standing on. And you can do change the opacity, which means they can look through it or not. 
And of course, you can change the color. Any color you want. I'll make it a bit. Look at this. Flashy. So you point at it and you change the bar and you can change it any color if you like a discotheque here. Okay. Well, I like it darkish blue, something like that. Not too fancy. Oh, white. White, great. This is good. And then you have the environment. Let's click on that. Environment. I only got a few here. You can download as many as you want. Uh, I love this one. This is the holodeck from Star Trek. So if I look around now, I am actually in the Star Trek holodeck. And I can see the entrance over there from the holodeck. I have to stop here because you see, here's my wall. And I also got the holodeck with a closed door. There you go. Door is closed. And the holodeck, holodeck is ready to game. Then what else do you have? You can change your base stations, which are the thingies hanging up here. Your base station. And let's turn it into an X-Wing fighter. Click on that. And look who we have here. Now both my controllers, the one over there and the one on the other side of the room, I'll come a bit closer, have changed into X-Wing fighters. Fabulous. That's the other one. You want a TIE Fighter, you press on that one, and presto, we got a TIE Fighter. Or a wooden one, which is like standard. You can even make it a picture of your mother-in-law if you want it, and you can shoot it all day long. And then the fun part is the controllers, which I like the most. These are my standard ones, so HTC. And let's switch them over. Got a Tokuhawa Heavy Industries. Really nice. And then we have these, which are pretty fancy as well. And we have like the Tron version. These are flashy. And you can also turn them into hands, hairy hands. Fortunately, this hand has two left thumbs, a bit like me. You can scratch your face. Let's go over to the one of my favorites, which are the lightsabers. Yeah, I'm making that noise. There's no noise. Should be. Would be fun. Really nicely made. All the buttons work. And your trackpad, as you can see here. That's the trackpad, and my thumb is on it. Lightsabers. And the Millennium Falcon, which I haven't tried yet. Look at this. So I got two Millennium Falcons in my hands and they're really nicely made. You can see the I can look inside even. You see this? Ooh, nice. So if you if you look up close and you put them against your headset, you can actually look inside the Millennium Falcon. And with the laser you can fly them around. Have fun with that like a little child. Once you have the vibe, you will feel like a little child. But these are really nice. Millennium Falcons. Neatly done. Let's change them over to those. So, this is what you can do in the customization. Background, play area, environment, base station and controller. And you can like get more skins online. And you can Change the whole thing according to your wishes, which is great fun. Try it out and let me know what you think.